There we go, guys. Hello. Um, my name is Buddy, and today we're going to be seeing Mark Claire. Uh, I'm not going to talk too loud right now because I don't want to do another recording, but we're going to see Mark Claire. See you inside. Hello, we're waiting in the mega line. <laughs> it's literally a mile long, so we're, we're finally getting into the uh, Rosemont Theater. Alright, so you probably can't see me guys, um, so right now we're in the Mark Claire thing, and as you can tell, bam, um, Sally are in like the, literally the back, back row, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Alright guys, so we got these little like, flippy things, so like, this was like, interactive, so there's like the nose and this is the yes, um, which are free, so that's pretty dank, but um, also, there's gonna be a Q&A section, and that's probably the only chance that we're gonna get to see him. Um, the splash is coming out, but um, it's supposed to be coming out in either like 30 to 4, uh, 20 minutes. I'm really excited. Really, I'm, really, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, I really am. Because, I mean, there's thousands, thousands of um, people in here. And not, not even just in here, just like in the building, you know? And then obviously Mark Fire. So. so. We'll see.
my earphone. You can pitch again. Thanks, John. Down. Um, I didn't ask him a question or anything, but um, either way, it was a nice show. And um, the only thing I can take away from this is one day I'm going to be up there. Well, that's the theory we went through. Uh, show's over. Then you guys see him, but uh, that show was kind of short. Like, I thought it'd be like two hours, but it was more like one and a half. And at the end of the day, all this tells me is one day I gotta get on that stage. Hey guys, my name is Blue Digit, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed that video <clears throat> of me going and seeing Mark Player. Um, it happened on the 9th, though, so I'm sorry it's a bit late. I just, when it happened, I kind of got depressed. Like, I, I'm so thankful for uh, my parents bringing me to that, my dad and uh, stepmom, because without them, obviously, I would never even got the chance to see them, and it was a big deal to me. Um, the helped me so much, so I just, if they ever do see this, I just want to say uh, thanks to them uh, for being supportive of my dream. But uh, the other thing is, um, I'm just, uh, it took me a while to actually make this video because, like, I just got so pissed off. Um, I, I planned months for this to happen, you know, and uh, just for the fact that um, the Q&A was what I was getting ready for. Like, I knew he wouldn't go up to everyone and say, like, how's it going, how's it going, because he's big now, and that would take way too long for him, but I mean, for the Q&A, I don't think everyone would have a question, and I think that, you know, for what happened, I, I think you should at least give the chance of that, you know? Um, and he only answered five questions. Only five. And one of them, he went on, like, a five-minute rant about, like, um, what was it? One person literally asked, how's your dog, Chica? One on, like, a five-minute rant. When, when he could have just, you know, moved on to, like, someone else, too, you know? Um, and... I get how like get, like answering these comments can get tiring and all, but I don't know, maybe I'm just pissed. But just making this journey YouTube work has been so hard. I mean, I've this is like tenth notebooks, and this is two of the notebooks that I could find that are like full of information. I'm just I'm tired of doing all this work, and then I di I didn't get a chance to even ask a question to him, you know. And um, out of, out of everyone there, I don't think anyone really had a planned question. Or else anybody was like just preparing months on end to like have this happen. Um, maybe I'm just ranting about nothing, but I I have a bulletin board back there. There's I made a video on it, how that's how I'm going to make this um, happen, and the fact that I didn't even get an opportunity to even say anything to him just stinks. Cause my question to him that I was actually going to ask maybe a bit cheesy, but. I was going to say, look at me as if you were looking at yourself in the mirror when you were younger, when you start first uh, first started out YouTube. What advice would you give to me, or in this case, you in the past, towards making your dream, or in this case, dream of YouTube, become a reality? And um, that I just hearing. Like what he's going to say about that. And I've seen multiple of his uh, like live streams and people asking kind of the same question, but almost as if like, what would you say to yourself in the past? Like I just want something he would say like almost like someone else. What would you do? And um, I I don't know. Um, but the one thing that I could take away from that was that um, I don't care how much I have to keep pushing, how much I have to keep going. As I've said, if there's even one person left watching this channel, I'm going to keep pushing to make sure this dream becomes a reality. I don't care how hard it is, how much I have to risk, how much I have to push day in, day out. I've put so much into this that I am not willing to just give up yet. And one day, whatever the stage may be, I will get there. One day I will stand in the same place that he did. One way or another. So, if I got anything from that, going to this big tour that cost us $300, not even to see him, 
even okay I saw him but like I didn't I didn't even get to talk to him I was in the very back you know opportunity is all that matters to me I will make this dream become reality so um I just want to say thank you guys so much for helping me uh you know do this um actually watching this video and always being there for me and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my experience with the Mark Player Tour. I know my camera, uh, my camera quality is kind of crap, but um, I, hey, I tried. I tried my best, um, and I will keep trying my best. So remember, guys, we only have a little bit longer, and everyone's like, "You can't do it," but you know what? Screw them. They're assholes. We're going to make it to uh, 10,000 subscribers, one way or another. So remember, sub sizzle, and if you liked it. You know, leave a like, but I think this video was kind of depressing. Um, down in the comments below, say something, do something, and let's make this dream become reality. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Blue Dude, signing out. Bye, guys. Whoop!